In the latest episode of Survivor Cook Island, Stephanie thought she'd be safe, but her luck ran out because she really wanted some mashed potatoes. I can easily see myself get some mashed potatoes and gravy. The other day she made that comment saying, vote me off, guys. You know, I feel like I'm the weakest link, but that was just icing for the cake today. Some people are saying that you are saying, making comments that you want to go. Like you want to go home and you know, eat mashed potatoes or something today. <laughs> It's amazing how one little thing could just be taken out of context. It's time for you to go. Good luck, guys. Stephanie Favor, good morning. Good morning. First of all, I thought you showed a lot of class, though, in the way you exited. You said, good luck and bye, and I'll oh, see. Oh, absolutely. That's yeah. the kind of person that I am. Yeah. Did you really want mashed potatoes that bad that you no. were willing to throw away we a million dollars? We were all dollars? talking about food. It was amazing. We all talked about food, chocolate, cakes, ice creams, whatever. So that one particular statement was just really blown out, out of proportion. So what was the deal? I thought you and Nate were, were close. I thought we had hickey love. You know, we, we love. all came from the original <laughs> tribe. I thought that we were all close obviously not as close as I thought yeah yeah so you blame him for your being here today no I don't blame no? him I take full responsibility for my own actions I initially planted the seed the week before yeah because you said when in the fail challenge you said I'm the weak link guys I'm I'm responsible I'm the weak link I did and do you think they just never got over that I believe they actually had gotten over that I mean I did plant that seed I internalized that defeat I thought it was my fault um, and I voiced that, a moment of weakness. But there was a redemptive speech that I gave our tribe after that tribal council and got everybody back into the fold at that point. So we were okay. Or I was so forgiven. You anyway. I was forgiven. I think, though, when I made that comment to Nate, he spread it throughout the tribe and that reopened the wound. I was really surprised by that. I, I mean, was too. <laughs> I, because, so you think that he was upset with you because you voted out Siku? I think that may have been a part of it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Could have been, perhaps, with some type of retaliatory act. I, d I don't know. At this point, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but you were also surprised, though, were you not? Because everybody was talking about Christina. She's bossy. She's got to go. She gets Absolutely. on my nerves. Absolutely. Absolutely. We came away from that uh, challenge with the defeat. We all knew that Christina was going. And I was very surprised when all of a sudden it was me. Yeah, and everybody voted for you. Everybody, everybody. you know? It's not like one or two or it wasn't you know, like... You it's, know, it's crazy because we all had this close-knit bond. A lot of that wasn't, you know, portrayed, but we all were very close. Yeah. And she knew that she was going to be leaving. At least we wanted to tell her that she yeah. was going to be leaving. I was, you know, told maybe you don't want to do that. And I'm glad I didn't because I would have looked like an idiot mm. when it was me going home instead. You know, you, you had mentioned to me that this is a lot harder then because this is the third time that you tried out for this i actually love this show yeah. i've always been a survivor fan there was a co open casting call in my area i tried out three times the third time was the charm for me and yes i really wanted to go further along in the mm. game it's unfortunate the mashed potatoes comment did me in. it did you in i want to take a look at the secret scene uh, okay. from last night i think people got to see another side of you let's take a look we got up this morning, we were all feeling really good, and we decided to pray just to kind of like bring us closer together, and I prayed for our tribe. All right, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time of fellowship. We thank you for this meal, Lord God, and we just thank you and we praise you for all blessings. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. And after that prayer, we all felt really good about that. They looked to me somewhat as <laughs> someone that kind of brings hope and encouragement to the tribe. Okay, I think that hope and encouragement was not as important as a million dollars because you're here <laughs> and they're still there. Do you regret any, anything you did out there? Uh, the one thing that I regret was the fact that I said I was the weakest link. Mm. At that point, it was just damage. There was no way of getting over that damage. And mm. I'm collateral damage, as you can see me sitting here today. <laughs> yeah. Stephanie Favor, what a joy to talk to you, though. Thank Thanks you so for, much. Thanks for coming by. Thank Good you. Luck Enjoyed to you. it. All right.